Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles. Um, since last episode, <clears throat> it hasn't been a ton of time since last episode, uh, a ton of in-game time, it's been a little bit of real life time, because I've been so ahead on videos uh, for this series, so I was giving a little bit of a break. Um, oh, please don't jump on all my stuff, that would be very much appreciated. Okay, yeah, get off that. <laughs> and we're now comfortable with the Inferium Katana. Uh-oh. Okay. Anyways, um, sun's going to be coming up. It's going to kill those guys off. I have done some thinking, and I have decided what food we're going to be going for. Um, I'll just dump this stuff into here. This is like my to sort after the episode chest. And I have planted a few things. I've planted rice, I've planted tomatoes, bell peppers, and onions. Uh, most of these, the onions, the tomatoes, the rice seeds were kind of mixed in here. I just moved the seeds over and expanded it out. Uh, the bell peppers I had to get, but you can obtain uh, bell pepper seeds fairly easily um, just using grass. So um, Now we are going to need one additional seed for what I would like to do, and that is carrots. Um, we are going to need some carrot seeds. However, there is a quest here for four copper coins and one silver coin uh, to get some carrots just to help us get started. So let's go ahead and detect, submit, and claim. And there we go. There's four carrots. Let's go ahead and plant these down. And I think the majority of these things, let's say tomatoes, rice, onions, I should have quite a bit of. Let's see, onions, tomatoes, rice, and we can use either form of rice, so both of these are interchangeable. Uh, of course, bell peppers I don't have much, I don't have any of. Um, I got enough, I did uh, enough to get nine seeds, and then of course carrots I don't have any of. Okay, so what we're going to do, um, I found that the watering can is super slow on these crops, like super slow. Um, so we are going to work on a couple things that will speed it up. I did use worms to fertilize this. They do give a passive uh, speed increase. And we've got those. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't looked in the configs to see if they're going to decay or not in this pack. Uh, but we'll find out. Um, but for right now, they're fertilizing and speeding that up a little bit. Um, we can use this fertilizer. And let's see. Con okay, concentrate compound magical appetite we can also use dirt with barley but then if we can find some appetite or i think i saw some somewhere but anyways we got this fertilizer we can go ahead and just grow I and mean, this pretty much works like bone meal so you know there's some carrots and there's some bell peppers and okay i'm not gonna be able to get any more carrots i'm gonna go ahead and plant one of those um, what we're going to be making is a combination of two different things. And I found that these are pretty easy for right now. This isn't going to be the end-all, be-all food by any stretch of the imagination. But it's a pretty good food. And there's two foods that we can make with just these five crops. And they don't really need much of anything that I'm going to have to keep messing with. The first is stuffed peppers. Two and a half shanks of hunger and all it takes is bell pepper, rice, and tomato. Um, and then, of course, some bakeware. And then, in addition... We can make veggie stir fry, which is four shanks of hunger, and it just requires a skillet and then any kind of vegetable. I'm going to be using tomatoes here, so it's less side that I have to plant. Uh, onions, carrots, bell peppers, and then a, any form of rice. Okay, You can also do any mushrooms if you so desire. So I think let's make ourselves, I don't think I have a skillet and stuff. And it doesn't show it being craftable within the chef's workshop, uh, which is fine. I'm just going to go ahead and make, I'm going to go ahead and just make a bakeware and make, does it go this way? No? Oh, it's got to be placed down here. There we go. There's our skillet. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up like a food station. Um, let me get... I'll just get eight of these. There we go. A couple crafting stations. And we'll make a little food station that sits like right here. 
Okay, and then in one of these, we're going to put in bakeware, and the other one, we're going to put in a skillet. Um, the skillet is used for the... There's actually quite a few things that we could make with just those uh, those different vegetables planted, but uh, let's see. The skillet is... Well, let's start with the stuffed peppers. That's peppers, rice, tomatoes uh, to make the stuffed pepper. And then over here, we're going to need... I think it's shapeless. Uh, we're going to need all the things. Yeah, veggie stir fry to make that. Great. Great, great, great. And I'll just put all the, that rice in there. Um, so let's go ahead and grab ourselves our very first veggie stir fry. That's what we're going to be making and eating a lot of. And I think two foods, bounce between those two, that'll be pretty good for now. You know, and maybe carry some berries just for... Uh, I mean, I can get a stack of berries, no problem. And they're great for refreshing. Uh, so you get maximum efficiency on your stuff. They're really good for refreshing that, so... Um, but I think those I think those two foods will be good, and and then once I get some of these coming in, you know, right now I'm still working on the plants. Uh, one other thing that I would like to do, if you recall back in the very first episode, I grabbed some of these bees. Uh, if you guys have been around the channel very long, you know I love Rustic's bees. Uh, let's go ahead now. Now that we've got our crops kind of situated, we're gonna make up some of these apiaries. Um, just a bit of wood, um, which I should have plenty of. Let's see. Let's see if I can use great wood for this. Yes, okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and get five apiaries. That'll be good for starting out. And then I'll probably end up getting more later. Um, but anyways, if we put these down, I'm going to do like one there, 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 there. And I guess I really need to speed up the carrots more. So I'm going to put another one right there. And then what we'll do is we'll take our bees. You can have up to 64 bees in here, but you might as well just start with one. Because uh, they are going to add additional bees and honeycombs as time goes on. We'll go ahead and do that. Hey, bell peppers. And then that. Okay. And the nice thing is, that's m the main thing that I'm missing over here. Is bell peppers. So, we'll go ahead and get a few of those stuffed peppers. That's not too bad for what it takes. Two and a half shanks of hunger. It's not all that bad. So, uh, but these are going to speed up plant growth. And then here before long, we'll get a fifth bee and we'll add the fifth bee over here. And then before long, this will be, you know, they'll be maxed out and speeding up growth uh, pretty well. So, okay. Um, now that we've got that stuff, that's going to give us a decent speed increase. I mean, the crops are still going to be super slow. That's something we're going to have to keep working on speeding up and adding you know, more apiaries, and technically I could do more worms, even, if I wanted to, because the effects of those do stack. Yeah, you can see I'm starting to get some honeycomb in on these. This one will probably get a second bee here, you know, any minute, but, um, okay, so now that food is kind of on the way towards being taken care of, at least started, what I would like to work on today, I mean, we do need to get into the heavy cream and stuff we will... Um, and then the 32 tomatoes will work up. We'll have that before too long. Um, I'm going to put food on the back burner for a little bit. Because we'll be in a good situation once that food starts coming in. And what I want to work on, if you recall, let's see. I want to get into Astral Sorcery for sand. But it's a little bit further in. So we're going to go ahead maybe and go for the fire seeds first. Because it's actually not that bad to get those up and going. The only thing is it's going to be expensive to make additional ones. That's going to be the worst part. But I think Fire Essence... Um, okay, we get 8 sand for 2. That's not bad. Let's see. Yeah, let me let me grab these bees. We'll put these in the last one over here so that I can start running. And the more bees that you have per apiary, the faster, uh, the, the better impact it has on your plant growth. So... Just a heads up on that. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to get the artisan table, um, the blacksmithing table. Uh, this is going to be used for a few things, but right now what I want it for is um, for making buckets. And there's actually a quest here. Uh, this one right here, actually. Um, we need to make ourselves a basic gas tank. So let's go ahead and see what that requires. Uh, in advanced crafting, we're going to need that tank valve that we made, I think, last episode. Uh, silicon plate, which is two silicon, and then an iron plate. And we're actually going to need to make quite a bit of this silicon. 
uh, more than that, in fact. Silicon Essence, that is a tier three seed. Okay. Ooh. Okay, well, we started working on that Silicon Bull right here. So we need to get two Silicon Bulls, six Silicon. Uh, let's go ahead and pick back up on that quest. Where did I put that Sandy Coal Compound? There we go. Um, and then if we smelt this, we're going to get our Silicon Bulls. Okay, so there's one. And then to turn it into, we can use a saw. If we had a saw mill, we could get eight per. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our hand saw. We're going to take our silicon bulls. Actually, let me make sure it gave us quest credit. It did. And there is six silicon. That's actually going to be enough for what I need to do. And there we go. And we're going to get to choose between a silicon bull, two creeper wings, or three copper coins. I'm actually going to take the silicon bull in this case. Because uh, that's, uh, that's another three silicon which is good uh because that stuff's going to be pretty important as we move forward okay the silicon plates they want us to craft two of these um okay that's fine i can pull off two there is that and i still have enough silicon left over for what i need to craft and then we get to pick between mushroom stews lemon bars or copper coins i'm gonna take copper coins um, the next quest, ready to exploring. Okay, we're going to need to do necessary preparations first. Um, that's fine. I want to go back to the blacksmith's workshop, the gas tank. Um, this needed silicon plates, iron plates, iron tank valve. So we have the tank valve. I've got some iron. I should probably start smelting that up, though. Okay, so we should be able to make the basic gas tank. There we go. Not a problem. And quest complete. Uh, we get to choose between five iron ingots, two silicon plates, or two silver coins. Now the buckets. Let's see. What did it take to make? That was just silicon, iron rod, the blacksmith's workshop, ten plates, basic gas tank. Okay. Um... I'm actually going to go ahead and take the silicon plates, though. Just because it's a little bit a little bit less crafting I've got to do. Uh, probably for future stuff. Um, then there's the blacksmith's workshop. Okay, that's what we want to make next. And that was just, uh, was it 10? Yeah, 10 plates and a piece of wood. I've actually got enough 10 plates right here. So, there's that. And... Quest complete. And we'll go ahead and grab that. Okay, and then let's see, we have compost. Next step, compost. I hope you have sown some seeds. Nether wings, common loot bag, wheat. Okay. Uh, compost we can make with just some wheat, actually. Um, I was actually looking at this earlier. So I think, actually, I think a single craft of this will be enough. So, we're going to need this to make methane gas. So, there's four compost. There we go. And I'm going to take the common loot bag. We're going to hope we get something cool out of that. And let's see. Inori plates, gunpowder, and light blue rune. Sounds good. Are any of these crops grown? Doesn't look like it. It's so slow in this pack. Uh, we'll make it faster, but... Um, okay, so now they want us to make, I'm actually not even going for this stuff, compost block. Um, I can actually make what I want to make now, because uh, what I want to make is just some buckets. I want to make three additional, uh, wait, don't I already have one somewhere's about? Yeah, right here, dark bucket. Um, so what I want to make is buckets, and to make these we need 500 millibuckets of methane gas. Uh, silicon iron rod, which can be crafted with just iron. Um, like that. And then, let's see, we're going to need a burner, a hammer, pliers. Do they not have us crafting all that? Surprisingly enough. Maybe it's somewhere, I don't know, but that's fine. I'm just going to make it. I've already got the hammer. 
So we're going to need a burner, which is two ingots and three wood, and then pliers, which are going to be like that. Okay, it looks like I'm pretty much out of coal again. Uh, so anyways, we'll do a uh, iron burner, and we'll do um, like this, I think. There we go, iron pliers. And then if we drop that, 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 and a piece of iron, and right, is that not right? Oh, we need a little bit of methane gas. Okay, I missed that part. Um, I forget it has a fluid slot there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to take our squeezer and we're just going to compost, or not compost, we're going to squeeze down uh, this compost and produce methane gas. Oh, you know what? I think we're going to need another basic gas tank now that I think about it, though. We're going to have to pump it out into a gas tank. And that means I'm going to need to make another one of these filters. Okay, so there's another tank valve. And then basic gas tank. There we go. Okay, so what we should be able to do is just put this setting like right there, I think. Um, let's see. Side config. The back is already input. So this should work. And if we compress this down, oh wait, you know, oh my gosh, total derp there. Um, I need this first because I have to turn it into the slimy biomass, this stuff right here. Sorry, I'm losing my mind. It's, I have no excuse for that. I have no excuse. I'm just, I'm losing my mind. Okay, so let's get ourselves, um, I should probably harvest all of this. I need to set up more of these little trees. Let's see. Okay, and then we want us to make four of these things. So what we're going to need to do is get ourselves some wood casings. I'm going to need a little bit more of those, in fact. There we go. There's four compost uh, bins, let's say, from actually additions. And we get an, a silver coin and two iron plates. Okay, and then biomass. We need to make four of this. That's what I was trying to do. I looked at the recipe earlier and then I forgot what I was doing, I guess. <laughs> We're just going to put this into there. You know, there's four compost and it's just going to take a while. Okay, uh, if we take a look at the, the, the stuff that we can do with this, I think there's fertilizer with biomash. Um, Two fruit and any seed for that. Biomass. Fertile soil we can actually make with apples. Or with wheat. Or with carrots. Or with potatoes. Or with lots of different things. Um, I'm actually thinking what we're going to do is... I actually think one thing that I want to do is just go ahead and get some of this fertile soil being made. Um, I don't need it right this second. But later on, we will need it. So, um, I'll just go ahead and do 32. It's not like I'm using that for much of anything at the moment. And then we've got uh, some bell peppers and stuff that have come in. And yeah, you can see our bees and our honeycomb is taking off. And I should be able to, because I've got a lot of extra seeds, I should be able to use berries, I think. Um... Let's see, what's that knife that we need for making the biomass? Oh, we just use any kind of knife. Okay, and I think I've got a knife in here. Yes, I do. So, can we do this? Because I wouldn't mind making some fertilizer. Yes. There we go. There's some biomass. Okay, and we'll toss that into there so we can start making some free fertilizer. Anyways, there is our four biomass. Our uh, slimy biomass. And... Quest complete. Right. There we go. Uh, we get to choose between a silver coin, two copper coin. That seems like a silly one. One silver coin is nine copper coins. <laughs> or a common loot bag. I'm going to take the silver coin. Naturally. Um, okay, squeezing gas. The easiest way to obtain methane gas is to put biomass in a squeezer and jump on it. It's not very efficient, but at the same time, this process doesn't require a source of energy. In the longer term, however, it's annoying. Use a redstone signal to reset the position of the squeezer. The squeezer can also be used to double ores. Oh, there you go. <laughs> We're already on top of that. We've been doubling ores since the get-go, pretty much. Um, 
put that away. I don't want that. Okay, so anyways, we'll drop that in there. I think this will auto-output to the basic gas tank. Right. No, nope, maybe not. Okay, well that's fine. We got an extra basic gas tank. Okay, well maybe if I set the blacksmith's workshop op like over here. Aha, there we go. Okay, that'll work. So let me just drop this stuff back into there. And there we go. We can make an iron rod. Haha. -ha. It's 200 millibuckets for the iron rods. Okay, let's go ahead and grab our squeezer so that quest completes. And we get um, a piston, a bookshelf, and five copper coins. Yay. And I'll just put that gas tank away because I don't need that. It would seem. No, I want it to face the other direction. There we go. So we'll just be able to like compress this stuff out. There we go. So now we've got 800 millibuckets of methane gas. That's great. Um, and then what we're going to do is let me grab this. I'm going to need, um, let's see, I think each bucket requires an iron rod, if I recall. Yes, and then iron plates, 500 millibuckets of methane gas. I'm definitely going to have to make some more methane gas. That's fine. Which I actually just used all my wheat for this. But we did get 32 fertile soil, and we got 10 fertilizer. That's good. Um, I don't actually need the fertile soil right this second, but we will. Um, now, is there a way that I can make compost a different way? Ashes. Which can I just, uh, no, I can't. I can do a, a wood pile, which I really should do that because I'm always low on uh, on stuff. But I can use oats, any kind of vegetables. That's only for one, though. Uh, we'll use oats because I do have those available. Okay, so there's 16 compost. I'll get that going, and then we should be able to make our buckets after that's done. Okay, and then our fertilizer. We can just bone meal. Grow. Goodness gracious. <laughs> For one carrot. Oh my gosh. Yay. <laughs> and we'll fix the sheep up before long with uh, like a pen. I've noticed like even though it says they're hungry and thirsty, they still produce wool. So it's actually not all that important. I just can't breed them at the moment. So that's why I haven't been too worried about it. Like they're still producing and they're still happy. So or not, they're, they're not happy, but they're getting by. Okay, I'm actually going to pop down and see if I can go dig up some coal real quick. We are going to get some wood piles. I just don't want to, like right now, I want to get sand kind of up and going. We'll make it faster later on, of course. Once we get into a little bit of astral sorcery, it's not going to take us too long. But we'll go ahead and push on to this. We need to get the buckets and stuff anyway. So. Then once we get that going on and I have a little bit more spice in the base, um, I'll build a forestry pile. <laughs> I promise. I'm wanting to get up to that, but I just, I'm, I'm running out of space with all the gardens and stuff we got to have in this pack. And with me wanting to build out of a very unobtainable material for the most part. Yeah. It's a little bit of a pain. I wish I had a desert nearby because sandstone, you know, it generates right below the sand. Um, so if you're near a desert, I mean, you can you can get sandstone like crazy easy. Like, it's really easy to build with. But I just don't have any deserts nearby, like at all. So I think I just got unlucky. Like, normally there's a lot of deserts, like, everywhere. But nope, not for me. Not this time. And you know what's funny? Stuffed peppers are actually one of my favorite foods in real life, too. <laughs> so it kind of works out that we're, that's what we're eating. So... Um, okay, so our com our biomass is done. Go ahead and grab this out. And let me get to squeezing. Fun, fun. Okay, we got 1,900 millibuckets of methane gas. That should be good. Oh, I got a loot bag. Oh, okay, we'll take a look at that in a second. Uh, so we need the burner, the hammer, the pliers again. Uh, iron plates, silicon, and then our iron rods. Anyways, I've got... Let's see. I think I've got, uh, yeah, there's some iron. And I, I bet I can make a plate. Now that I've got the, oh, wow, there's not. Huh. 
Okay. I was thinking there was probably a way in the table to make them cheaper, but nope. Nope, that's not the case. So, there we go. One of these days we'll be able to make one, one ingot into one plate, but uh, there's that. There's our silicon, and we'll go ahead and get our three buckets. Yay. And then, uh, let's go ahead and grab this dirt bucket and shift right click it on the ground and we can dump the dirt out for right now and then we are ready um, I'm gonna need some more like we got the tier three crafting seeds I'm gonna need some more essence I've got to I've got to work on that that's just hanging out with the watering can for a minute because I don't have anything um, but we're gonna need some lava there's actually some lava over here so let's head off in this direction we're about to get our very first fire seed, so super exciting. I mean, it's going to be very passive, but I do I have noticed that the the nice thing is the magical crops, the mystical agriculture stuff, it does seem to grow faster than the vanilla crops. Like it's kind of gauged for mystical agriculture within this pack. Um, you would think it would be the other way around, but it's not. So, okay, so there's our four lava buckets. Hopefully, it does not consume the lava bucket. Wouldn't that be nasty if it did? Okay, uh, we've got, I think, everything that we're going to need. I got, I farmed up a little bit more essence. Um, what we're going to do is, first up, change that over to Prudentium, change that over to Intermedium, and then our lava buckets, like that. And then our Tier 3 crafting seed, there we go. There is our fire seeds. Our very first fire seeds. Okay. And then I'm going to actually grab two of these just to help speed up growth a little bit. And you go there. <laughs> and then we'll put down our fire seed right there. And we'll work on growing this. Yay. There we go. I'm actually going to break it um, and let's, let's instead, let's set it up right here for right now. It's not going to stay here, but right now I am trying to get essence and fire seeds more so than ice seeds and dirt seeds. I mean, I've got a lot of that stuff built up and, and whatnot, so I'd rather grow it alongside some essence because this stuff I just don't have, you know. And I think the next thing that we'll be working towards is probably going to be Astral Sorcery Sand Generation. Uh, start trying to focus on that a little bit. Because I'm still going to need, you know, I need a lot more sand than this. But it's just something that we kind of have to ease into. But um, there is, oh, I want that. There's 16 sand. Um, and as I get more fire seeds... They're not super cheap. I mean, once I get the essence, um, it won't be too bad, which I'll probably be working on upgrading to the Tier 3 seeds, um, I think, next. Because I don't really want to push into anything. And I'm going to start working on Tier 3 seeds and then working on probably a field of the stuff. <laughs> because it's just, it grows so slow on its own. Um, I mean, it's not too bad if you have the watering can, which technically we can make an upgraded watering can. Uh, cause it's bone meal. Um, I don't have bone meal though. That's the worst thing. I do actually have one bone. And we can put that in the squeezer and break it down. There we go. Okay, so technically we can upgrade. Yeah, let's upgrade our watering can real quick. Which I've got to pop down to the mine real quick because I don't have any more iron on me. Um, or any more iron ore. I, I have iron ingots, but I need iron ore. Uh, for what I want to do, so there we go. Okay, so I got our iron broken down, and I've also got some nickel ore. I've only got like two pieces of stuff, so we're not gonna be able to do a whole lot with it. But yes, okay, awesome. I got two pieces off of one ore. I've still got uh, one nickel ore. I'm not gonna mess with that right now. But if we take the uh, and we take our nickel, we can get some invar blend. There we go go and we'll just throw it in there and get that smelting we'll get uh, our ingots and then we can make that into plates so and then from there we get our 
new watering can. So I'm going to need to get uh, one silicon. Yeah, and then we're good. Come on, number four. There we go. All right, so let's grab our hammer. That. That. There's our Envar plates. And then there is our hardened watering can. It has a 5x5, five five and it can store up to 12 buckets of, uh, of water as opposed to 4 buckets, which is quite a bit better. That's quite a bit better, I have to say. And so what I'm probably going to do is make a nice 5x5 five five for all of our, uh, you know, mystical agriculture and stuff like that. And then uh, I can just watering can all of it at the same time. Um, oh, that has grown, and I like it. We have carrots starting to come in at last. So there we go. And then these will just go to making veggie stir-fries. Um, so we're going to start having food building up. You know, it kind of was a pain to get started, but we are going to start having food building up. So, And then I've got fire seeds. And it's actually not too bad, especially when once we get a few crops. And I do tend to water can a lot, um, so it's actually it's actually not too bad. And now I'm not having to fill up the watering can like all the time, so that helps a lot. And let's see to upgrade this again. We'd have a seven by seven. We need electrum though, and hardened nickel and phyto grow. That one's gonna be a little bit longer. So okay, but yeah, see, I'm starting to get a decent amount of sand. And it's definitely going to make it... Oh, no. Is there any way to turn this into... Uh... Nope. But I'm going to need to make more sandy coal compounds so I can use it for that. But Anyways. <laughs> um, I'm going to set... What I'm going to do is I'm to fix that and stop it from happening, hopefully. I'm going to set up a table over here. One of them is for making... Uh, compacting some of that essence into Prudentium. And then we'll have another one that does uh, sand. So that way just to make my life a little bit easier because and that way I can just throw the essence in there and craft it. So that'll help out. But um, anyways, uh, hopefully there'll be some progress on the build between this episode and next, I should think. Because uh, now we've kind of we're kind of at a point where I can start generating some sand uh, passively, and I'm kind of working up Inferium Essence because I want to grow these farms, you know, a lot bigger anyways, so so hopefully I'll be getting a decent amount of sand because that stuff, it does add up really, really quick. And then, um, especially being able to water this entire area, like at the same time, uh, means I'm going to be getting a lot of Essence in as well. So I'll probably add more, uh, hopefully more Inferium crops and then better Inferium crops and all that stuff, so... But anyways, I know it's about wrapping up point for this episode, so I am going to end this one out here. Uh, next episode, when we come back, we are going to, now that we've got our fire seeds and we got some decent food, I mean, it's not great, it's not the best thing, but um, as our base expands and as we get more farmable land going on and more situated farms going on, um, we will move into a lot better food. You know, I, I'm a huge Pam's Harvest Craft fan, and we're going to do a lot with it in this pack. Uh, probably even more than we did in Enigmatica, I imagine. Because Enigmatica, it was all just vanilla recipe, pretty much, for the food. Whereas in this pack, it's uh, it's kind of vanilla recipe, but it's it's got Animania, so it's a bit more... Enigmatica did too, but it wasn't... It had vanilla animals still, so I don't really... I never understood the point of it being in that pack, but... Um, so anyways, we'll get into, uh, next episode we'll start moving into a little bit of Astro Sorcery, because once we get that up and going, we won't really have to craft sand this way anymore, we can just have, like, pretty much infinite, super fast sand, but it does, it's gonna take us a little bit longer, um, I think, to, to get up to that point, but we'll probably start working towards that, uh, next episode, and hopefully have a little bit more space to kind of, I'm kind of in a situation that, that growing pain situation right now at the base, where it's kind of hard to expand out, um, until I get more of the base built. And I've just been kind of waiting on getting some just some sand going. Because, I mean, I'm running out of space. As you can see. And it's kind of a mess. But So, we'll... Hopefully, next episode, we can kind of start expanding a little bit. And maybe start using that little building that's over there as well. 
Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay updated with when new videos come out. And I hope to see you guys next time. So until then, as always, do take care, stay safe. I'll see you guys then.